What it do, though? What's up? I'm trying to share a little something on my end just to let you know that everything is okay. Day nine. Got it down to a science. So what I did on my day nine, I was about 98%, maybe 99% on point. Um, I got a lot of my water in. I saw that I only got to about um, 10,000 steps and my goal was to do 12,000. So got my daughter, said, come on, let's go. We went to the kingdom and we got the rest of those steps in. We went in the evening time, rode the rides. I got on some rides, y'all, my old self. I got on some rides. Uh, we we vibed out together, walked, played games. I played the little basketball thing and shot it. And uh, I made it. And I won the little basketball. I was kind of pumped, to be honest, because I'm not a ball player. Like, I'm not a baller, at least not in that way. So the biggest thing is just uh, being consistent, setting daily goals, trying really hard to reach those goals, being intentional about what you eat and drink, what you're putting into your body, like that's what your body is made of. And I can definitely say that during this challenge, that's what I'm really working on is being intentional about what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, how much of it I'm taking in and how much calorie burn I'm also doing as well. Because calorie intake versus calorie expenditure is real. And if you don't understand that relationship between those two things, then you yourself um, are going to always have that up and downhill battle with your weight, jo weight loss journey. When I learned that me taking in 3,500 calories equals a pound, what it says to me is, well, I need to start looking at how many calories I'm taking in regularly every day. And if you're taking in more than 3,500 calories a day, you're gaining a pound a day if you're not doing exercises, calorie expenditure to get it out, to get it off. So that's why you got to keep moving. OK, I run so I can eat. I exercise so I can eat. I don't want no deficiencies in my food diet because I'm gaining weight. Therefore, I got to get moving. So what would that look like? Walking, running, swimming, cardiovascular endurance exercises are so important. You got to know what they are and you got to engage in them. And guess what, y'all, as adults, we only need the majority of the week, four days out of the week, 30 minutes a day. OK, but guess what? If you want to be an overachiever, then go and get that 40 minutes in, go and get that hour in. Give yourself an hour of time dedicated to yourself and your goals so that you can do what you need to do. So when I say to you, my day nine was fine, my day nine was fine. So let me know, what did you do? What were you intentional about today? How'd you get your steps in? And did you reach your goal? If you like it, you like it. Share if you care. Leave a comment. Let me know where you are on your journey and always subscribe to my channel. If you are anything like me and you struggle going on this weight loss journey, you've been on it for 5, 10, 15 years of your life and you're tired of how you feel, okay? Because the weight we bear has a huge impact on how we feel and how we engage in life, our quality of life. If you yourself are like, no more, I'm done, I'm tired, like, what is it going to take? Take this journey with me because after these 21 days of me challenging myself physically, I'm going to have some other challenges along the way, boo, because there are mental challenges that we need to have. There are spiritual challenges that we need to have, financial challenges that we need to have. OK, some of us get our paycheck and pay it to everybody else and wonder why we still broke. Let's figure that out. When self-care is the best care, you got to understand that all components of personal wellness circle around back to you. Be empowered, live better, and love always. Hey, love always. Peace.